Select members of Congress are getting a briefing from the White House about that Chinese spy balloon. China denies that it was for espionage, but administration officials say it was likely part of a Chinese military surveillance program. Nicole D'Antonio has more from Capitol Hill. The U.S. military says it's getting ready to bring up fragments of the Chinese balloon it shot down off the coast of South Carolina. The items include pieces of cameras and antennas. Do we know what the Chinese communist government was looking for? Senator, we have some very good guesses about that, uh, and we are learning more as we exploit the contents of the balloon and the payload itself. Biden administration officials spoke on Capitol Hill committee. Thursday blasting what they called an irresponsible act on the part of the People's Republic of China, or PRC. We will confront the dangers posed by the PRC with resolve, and keep demonstrating that violations of any country's sovereignty are unacceptable. In an exclusive interview with CBS News, Defense Secretary Lloyd the Austin told David Martin yeah. the balloon's route took it past ballistic missile fields and a B-2 stealth bomber base. We were made sure that uh, we were, were buttoned down and movement was uh, limited and communications were, were, uh, were, were limited. A senior State Department official says China's military is likely behind the surveillance program, which has flown balloons over more than 40 countries across five continents. The Biden administration says it's reaching out to countries about the scope of the program, and it warns it will explore taking action against entities linked to China's military that were involved in the incident. A Chinese foreign ministry spokesperson denied the accusations Thursday, calling it, quote, information warfare, and repeated China's claims that the balloon was a civilian meteorological airship. While the fallout over the incident continues, the United States carried out air drills with Britain and Australia to simulate high in combat operations against Chinese fighter planes. Nicole D'Antonio, CBS News, Capitol Hill.